Um, there's a wonderful suggestion that I, since, we, since the last time we talked about this, when we did the Gospel of Thomas lecture that I've read, uh, William G. Duffy, who's the author of The Hidden Gospel of Thomas, he has an excellent, in my opinion, suggestion to restore a second half of the saying. So um, it's possible, since it's the very last saying, that, we don't, that it's just breaking off mid-sentence. And he says that if you, if you were to just change the last little bit of it, he says, for every woman who makes herself male will enter the kingdom of heaven, and every male who makes himself female will see the father. In other words, if we, if we, if we were to restore gender parity to it, then it wouldn't be so, um, such a mess. <laughs> because the concept of what the Gnostics were trying to get at here, or what, the, what is probably trying to be meant here, would, would be clear. And so, um, actually, I really like that suggestion. And if, um, if we, in my tradition and community of Christ, we actually have a, we kind of have a tradition of, um, making inspired corrections to biblical text as part of our tradition. And also uh, we have a ability to increase the canon. And I might be willing to add the Gospel of Thomas if we maybe added the restored version of the Gospel of Thomas that included that, because that wouldn't be as confusing to people. Okay, so that's kind of